Hey everyone, uh, Scott here again, uh, Luxury Car Care, uh, with my Tesla. Uh, wanted to uh, take you through the next steps. So, just to remind everyone, um, so the car has been now uh, washed, uh, decontaminated, um, so I did the two bucket method yesterday, I did the wheel wells, the wheels, the tires, you can notice the tires down no longer have that sticky shiny stuff on them, they're all matte, so everything's been cleaned, um, and then uh, I did a uh, iron removal process on the entire car, including um, basically everywhere, all the plastics, all the paint, um, and, and then I did a quick test for, uh, just to kind of see if that had gotten everything, whether there are any other contaminants, do I feel any other, any other, you know, little edges or, or little things sticking up from the paint. It feels very good. If I would have felt anything else, any other contamination, I would have then gone and done a, uh, a clay bar on the whole thing. Um, brand new car, I'm not surprised there was a lot of iron on it. There was everywhere, the entire car was coated in iron. Um, but not that surprised that it doesn't really need to be clay bar. Um, there's no point in claying it if I don't need to. So, uh, next step is uh, paint correction. Uh, so, before I get into that, a uh, couple things you need to do. One is, especially for some of these Teslas, I'm, I'm hearing a lot and reading a lot around um, some thin paint. So first thing you should really do before you go grinding too much on paint is just understand uh, the coating thickness. Um, so uh, I actually purchased a uh, thickness, paint thickness, paint measurement gauge um, from Car Supplies Warehouse. Um, awesome group of guys up there. It's owned out of, uh, out of Chicago by the, the guys that own Chicago Auto Pros. Um, really good guys. They have. They have a uh, measurement tool called uh, Next PTG. Um, it links right to your phone. Uh, there's an app that I used. So I did this yesterday. If you go into reports, you can actually see um, there's the report that I created. And um, I mean, it was really nice. I created a report for my car. It told me kind of approximately where to measure. I did all the measurements. It's tracked it all. It told me where I had some had some potential uh, where I had some potential low areas. Um, so that's been done. Um, so I feel good about that. Again, not surprising. Actually, the areas that were the worst were. Um, on the front and back door, the side doors, um, lower rocker panel areas, um, ended up being the thinnest, uh, the most thin, um, anywhere from, you know, some, a lot of them were less than three mils. Um, again, three mils is kind of the go, no go for paint correction. Um, so I'll take a look down there. If I see any scratches, I'll probably lightly hit it, but I'm definitely not going to go very, very far on it. You know, three mils is the thickness of the base coat, primer, um, the paint itself, and the clear coat. So if you go, you know, that means there's not a whole lot of clear coat really on the car in that area. The rest of the car was pretty good. The rest of the car had, had anywhere from three and a half to four mils. Um, so for what I'm going to do on this, I feel pretty good about, about that thickness. So that's, that's the first step. Second step. Um, is uh, it's just doing a test spot. It's just reviewing what, what you see in the paint and then doing a test spot. So I will tell you, I've gone over the paint and um, it's very clear that they have watched this previously. Um, I, you know, I think the paint's probably medium hardness. It's not hard, it's not ultra soft, but it's definitely soft enough to, to where if you're not careful, you'll entail um, some marring. So I see lots and lots of love marks, lots of scratches from wash mints or something else. I don't, I don't know. I don't think they took it through an automated 
tunnel wash. I think it probably was hand washed. Um, that's just my guess. I have a couple, it looks like a couple sandy marks right here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see them or not. Light here. Let's see if you can see. Um, yeah, it's just really tough to see them. Trust me, they're there. Work. There's Basically, see standing mark here, standing mark here, like brown marks where they someone had just sand down something. So that'll buff out. But otherwise, it's I could you know the scratching is pretty prevalent. Nothing that's not going to come out. Um, so the first step is just what's the best approach? We want to take the least amount that we can off the paint, um, but at the same time put the least amount of work in and and have a product that I'm happy with. Um, so to do that, uh, we're going to do one step polish. And then once we complete the one step polish um, and I'm happy with it, I'll go around and I'll tape all the trim off that I think are, you know, could cause problems. Like there's a lot of, <coughs> you know, a lot of matte, a lot of this matte trim. Um, I don't want to be hitting on that with the polisher, so I'm gonna I'm gonna tape all that off, tape this this matte trim off here around the mirror. Uh, this matte trim. Um, this is porous plastic. You generally don't want to get get a polish on that as well. So I, I'm gonna tape tape that off, tape the headlights off. That's that's basically it. I'll tape the handles off again. Matte, kind of a matte plastic so I don't or matte finish I don't want to um, buff on that um, but otherwise there's not a lot else I mean the glass you know the glass will be fine um, I don't you know I'm not too worried about the, the rear tail lights are different than they're not coated like the front headlights are so you don't necessarily have to worry about that you know all this plastic down here We'll get, um, we'll tape that off, just the edges off as well, just to make sure. So that's it. So let's do a test spot. And then, um, I generally just you know, put it on the hood. And uh, we'll see what, uh, see what it looks like. Um, I typically use. Towels here. I have a uh, just a five inch. I'm going to start with very mild. So you start with kind of the most mild and you work your way up. I have a Rupes yellow cummy pad, um, which you know is, isn't the most mild. The whites are most mild, but it's it's pretty pretty mild. You get very little cut from it. A lot of polish, um, and then I have uh, McGuire's uh, 210, which gives you some cut, but not uh, not too much. And um, and I'm gonna prime the pad, and then I'm just gonna do. I'm gonna do a uh, section, section like right in here. I can see there's quite a bit of scratching, so I'm gonna do a section right in here just to kind of see what I what happens with it. So I'm gonna prime first.
So basically, I did three and a half, four passes. Well, you know, each pass is so up, one pass back, second pass, third pass, and then just a quick fourth pass. Um, so we'll see, see what that looks like here. See if that took out everything. took out a lot of the light stuff, but there's still quite a bit of scratches left. Quite a bit. I mean, it shined up nice, but, but these deeper scratches are still... I will tell you, man, this photo, look at this. Barely push on it. It is thin. Um, that's not... I'm not happy with that. So... I'm going to change. I'm going to go to a uh, Rupes yellow wool pad, which gives us a little bit more cut for the pad. Um, but I'm going to stay with the same, the same liquid. Um, now when you prime this, you want to you want to make sure you try to really get it covered. Get a little bit more coverage on it than you did on the foam pad. You really want to make sure you try to get the fibers coated. That's gotten that 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 two McGuire's two ten cutting polish and then the um, Rupes yellow wool pad. Ninety ninety percent, ninety five percent, which is all I can ask for. Maybe a little more than that, maybe ninety five. Ninety five ninety eight percent. I'm going to redo this section here real fast. You always blow out your pads. You always want to blow out your pads, or at least somehow clean them in between. I try. I blow it out every every pass, every every section I do. As you're as you're polishing, you're, you're literally. You know, taking shaving off sections of clear coat, and when you shave off sections of clear coat, that comes back and sits into your pad. So you want to get that clean. So one, when you go to the next section, you'll still cut, but also you're not continuing as you cut to then remar the paint. Um, so you want to you want to keep your pad clean. Very cool. So now this is prime, so now I'm just going to 
about. So again, we're going to go back to the place that I was the first time just to see all the stuff that the yellow foam pad didn't take out. See if this wool pad takes care of it. I think that looks pretty good. So I think that's, you know, I may have to do, I think that's going to be my, my approach. I'm going to use the, the M McGuire's 210, the Rupes yellow wool pad, do the whole car, and then I'll come in and if I have a couple spots where I see a couple deep ones and I know the paint thickness is okay, um, I'll come in and spot treat those, probably grabbing a, a you know, Eurofiber, microfiber blend, um, and I even have some compound, heavy duty compound that I could take to it if I need to, just to spot treat a couple scratches. But otherwise, I'm going to have to stay light. And I'm going to have to keep with the cutting polish and the, um, the yellow wool pad. So that's the plan. I'll go through the whole process just like I did here. I'll do the whole car. You know, I have a five inch for the bigger areas. I also have a three inch. For the smaller areas in the hood, and then if I for the, the fenders and you know the, the small areas around the pillars, and, uh, and then if I need need to, I can pull out the uh, the nano, but I'm hoping I don't I don't have to do that on this car. So that's the plan. I'm going to tape now, and then start polishing. And uh, the plan is to get the whole car polished here in the next 24 hours, and. Um, be ready for uh, the next step, which would uh, which would be PPF. So thanks, and um, I'll uh, I'll bring you back again when I uh, when I kind of wrap things up and let you know how the, the policy went.